Okay, so what am I doing now? Oh, it's tight. Somebody call 911. Marahib, my name is Bethany Kedi. I'm a chef, cookbook author, and this is Acquired Taste. Okay, so what am I doing now? Let's do this. I taste. I taste minced meat, egg. Is this like a breakfast burrito? Hmm. It needs layering. It needs a bit of oomph. Somebody call 911. So we're gonna get started with just kind of getting some, a little bit of oil. Um, and I like to use olive oil. We're gonna go in with some minced onions. And we're gonna cook those down a little bit before we're gonna add the garlic. And then I'm going to go in with some garlic. You can add more or less. I mean, I, obviously I'm Lebanese, I adore garlic, so I can never have enough. So here you can see I've got my uh, minced chicken. This is chicken breast. You can use a mixture of chicken breast and chicken thighs. Now, once that is done, what we're gonna do is go in with the minced chicken. And that is gonna go just like that. So this is roughly 500 grams. Uh, that I'm using 400 to 500 grams to about one onion, possibly three to four garlic cloves um, that have been minced. And then we're gonna go in with the spices. So I've used here is a Lebanese spice mix. It's called a seven spice mix. And that has a combination of several dis different spices, cumin, ground cumin, ground coriander, ground allspice, um, white pepper, black pepper. And you want to get the meat browning, so if you find that the heat is not high enough, go ahead and increase it. So we're going to go in with some of the um, seven spice, and this is the smoked paprika. And you can do this to taste. I quite enjoy a lot of salt in my food, uh, you know, enough to get the flavor. Some people don't like salt, they, they, they find it a health risk. So, but if you're using really good quality sea salt, that's okay. So there we go. Get some salt in there. So we're gonna go ahead and taste that and just make sure we've got the right amount of spices and seasonings. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What we're gonna move on to, Arab guacamole. First things I would like to do is just kind of get the avocado mashed a bit. Just like that. You can also use a whisk if you have one. Just get some salt, a bit of tainé. So about a spoon full. Right, so I'm gonna get a fork and I'm just going to squeeze some lemon. Again, I'm eyeballing this. Um, just a couple of squeezes there. Okay, so let's taste that. Mm, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Okay, we're gonna use Arabic bread or sage bread. So this is the khibz arabi. First things first, we're going to slice our bread right in the middle, just like that. A bit of garlic sauce here. A spoon full of our chicken. Avocado is going to go in Next, right here. So we're gonna put that here. So here we're gonna use a variety of pickles, quite popular to the Middle Eastern kitchen. You can't have a sandwich without pickles. We're gonna add a bit more garlic because garlic makes everything taste better. All right, let's get on with the folding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in like that, fold over like that one more time. Press it down gently, and then like that. Right, so you wanna get this very, very hot so that it crisps. You can obviously use a griddle at home as well if you have. You can use a panini ever so gently. Probably needs about a minute, less than a minute on each side, depends on your heating elements. So let's see how that's looking. Ooh good color coming through. So we're gonna flip that. There you go, you see that browning. So that looks nice and ready, it's very crisp. It's perfect, right? 
Let's try this. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I do think it needs coriander and more pickles. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. That, my friends, is how you inject nafas into your food. 